So today is very much a chilled one. I'm just going for a walk. So thought I'd just show you my sights along the way. Um, yeah, we don't have any plans today, but I will film anything that we uh, we do. And maybe if we get a bonus, hopefully, I'll uh, film that too. So I've come out for a walk. Um, I've got to find Jess and trainers, which is the reason I'm out for all But look at that monstrosity. They have <laughs> destroyed the view of the Bellagio for the Formula One. I mean, it, yeah, I just I just don't know. Not happy. But hey, I love Formula One, I love Vegas. Looking forward to the race, watching the race on TV actually. But it is a monstrosity, that thing by the fountains, and it's such a shame. Um, anyway, I'm on the hunt for these particular trainers that Jess wants. The first shop didn't have them. So, I'm going to try go down Caesars and see if I can find them. Beautiful day here in Vegas. The weather is absolutely fantastic. So, I'm on route to get Jess's trainers. But I thought, do you know what? Let's stop in at the Bellagio and have a look at the uh, conservatory. So, here it is. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't want to fight no more, because I don't feel the need no more, no. Just want to make it stop. Maybe it's something. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this time So I'm here at the uh, forum shops. I have not been in here for years. I think the last time I actually came in here was with Jess in about, must be 2019, maybe even longer ago than that. Um, this place is amazing, isn't it? And all I'm trying to do is find some trainers. This girl's hard to please, but hey, she's worth it. Um, so let's try and find this night shop, which I think is the furthest away shop in the whole place. Um, and then I need a beer. It's definitely time for a beer. So, oh. Having acquired Jess's trainers, I'm now here with Carol. Hi. And we've come to Brewdog to have a couple of beers. So uh, yeah, I'll show you it when we get there. So this for me was like a must do on this trip and uh, I just love a brew dog. I love the bars and the fact that they've uh, stuck one in the middle of Vegas just makes it fantastic. Um, I do go to the London one quite a bit because I like it. I like the beers as well. Um, they've got a vast array of choices so it's very hot today. It's quite cool in here but apparently the terrace is going to be hot. But Let's decide what beer I'm gonna have. So it's a very hot day. Hot is the word. Uh, not used to this in October. It's never been this hot when I've been out here. But we're um, 
We're having a couple of beers here and I'm gonna go with Hops with a View, brewed in Las Vegas. Yeah, we'll see how it is. That's the Hops with a View. It's quite strong, but it's very nice. Um, the menu actually, I don't know if we're gonna eat here, but the menu itself looks very good. Although quite pricey, I think, some things. Um, but yeah, looks good. We're on the uh, Hazy Jane Guava, which is really nice, but we've got some uh, nachos with guacamole, and look how good that looks. Gotta say. And it's 33 degrees, Carol's just told me, and it is hot. Enjoyable though, enjoyable. Having a great, great afternoon. So we're on to our second course after the nachos. We've gone for lobster tacos. And the, these nachos were good, and that guacamole is brilliant. I'm looking forward to uh, eating these. So it was absolutely lovely to catch up with Carol. I haven't seen her in two years, which is far too long um, to not see someone as great as her. She is great fun, and we have some great food and some beers. So now I've got to go back to the Luxor and hopefully find Uncle Steve and make sure he's not done anything reckless. Last night he was wheeling around his buggy with a horn on. Um, absolute nightmare, absolute nightmare. So we're here at Mandalay Bay. Steve, how was last night for you? Bear in mind it's six o'clock in the evening and this is the first time I've seen you today. Um, what bit of last night? Well, do you remember any of it? Um, yeah, I remember going back to my room with spilt coffee and the um, strami wrap from the deli bar. Um, but I don't remember getting to that point. So you don't remember doing donuts in the buggy just there? No. Nearly taking out about 10 pedestrians? No. Or getting stuck in the lift that I had to lift you and the buggy up to get you out the door? No, it wasn't me. You were no, I weren't me yesterday, I think. You were brilliant and you had a great night and it was really nice That's to see you. That's the most alcohol I've drunk all year. Oh. And I'm suffering. What's funny is, I left you at a slot machine and you were pretty sober. An hour later, you were wasted. White girl wasted. There's something not right about black Russians and no ice. Yeah, maybe you should stay off them tonight. What? How about espresso martinis then? Well, you were stealing everyone else's drink when I cut you off. Well, I've done it once, I'm happy. No, you were great fun, and everyone found you funny. Just make sure I don't do it Saturday. It's like babysitting, honestly. It is, it is like having a, a child on holiday. All I've got to do is look after, make sure I don't do this, anyway. So, yeah, we're off. I enjoyed Brewdog, it was great. Um, and now we're off to do a little bit of gambling and get some food. Um, probably not going to be a late one tonight. I'm suffering after only having seven hours sleep in three days. So, oh, I need a solid eight hours tonight. So, famous last words. Let's see what happens. It's always the same, Steve. When I don't film it, it happens. So, second spin bonus on uh, Ultimate Filing. Looking pretty good so far, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I won't get anything now, I've got the camera out. And if I don't, I'm, I'm not filming any more of my slots. That's good. This is a good bonus. Need three more to unlock that and there's another miner up there. Not gonna get it though. Do you know what? I'm happy with that. I put five dollars in. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. 160. And there's a lot of bells. Uh, that's always nice, isn't it? Hey.
There we go. 238. That's the way to start the evening, Steve. Yeah, $5 investment. $5 investment, 238 out. Bosh. So we're here at Mandalay Bay still. We've got the up and puff bonus. As Steve says, let's get half and puff out of the way at the start of the night. Buzzsaw, come on. All the grand, I can go with that. <laughs> right, so we've got the buzzsaw feature. That's good, because there's one wooden one already. Steve's over there. Wow. Come on. That's a great trigger too. Right, at least we've got a gold house. We can relax now, we've got a gold house. Is that it? No? Evidently not. Hopefully we hit one in one of those. No? Don't be me. Ah oh, well. Let's see how that goes. Come on, Mr. Wolf. Puff and puff and blow me down. There's three. <laughs> $170 line hit. Look at that. Wow. Doing well tonight. I'll probably lose it all by the end of the night, but doing well at the moment. Tonight we are, after our catastrophe gambling, we're going to eat at Libertine Social. Steve, you're looking forward to the oysters? Well, I also, I've never had steak tartar before, so I was going to give that a go. So he's going to have steak tartar and I'm having the oysters. We're going for it tonight, so uh, yeah, I'll show you the food. so far hey Steve oh and the doggies <laughs> brilliant so bees knees it is today let's go cocktail of the day the bees knees Steve have a sip of your bees knees I forced Steve to have a cocktail 
He's had too many already, but we'll go with it. Is it good? Yeah, it's like alcoholic lemon. There we go. So today's cocktail of the day is the bees knees. Steve, how are you liking the oysters? This is only the second time I've had them. The first time was in your back garden. I hope it doesn't arouse me. <laughs> Aphrodisiac. Get it down, you boy. So that was a uh, Libertine Social. It was bloody delicious, quite frankly. Food was really good. I mean, it was far too much. But <sighs> seems to be everywhere here. Um, service was great. And uh, yeah, really nice vibe. So highly recommend. Shit you do in Vegas. Steve, I'm gonna get the uh, Vegas sign tattooed on my foot. Well, you can have it tattooed on your ass, but... Absolutely not. Let's do it. Let's do it, why not? So I'm here at Mandalay Bay. Apparently, getting uh, tattoos in Vegas is the thing you do. So, I'll show you when it's done. So, um, I am home, but I thought I'd end day three <laughs> just showing you the crazy tattoo I did get on that evening. So there it is. Um, I've got Aria, who's our daughter's name, with her birth date in the uh, font of the Aria. Crazy thing to do after um, after a night out, but do you know what? I don't regret it. Um, just another mental thing in Vegas. So uh, there's day three, everybody. Um, sorry, they're taking me a while to get out. Um, getting back and back into work and stuff's been a bit tough, but hopefully I'll get the last few out uh, this week. <laughs>